In this episode, I fly a drone. Julian eats garlic bread, and Bjarte cleans up some shit. We're having a race because all of our plans only fell apart this summer because of uh, the sea thing. So we decided to stay in our country as uh, we should do and have a race at the very top. You have to get there. I'm we're taking this car, and we're driven by the above well, the supposedly man holding the camera right now. And I will take this. I just left. I'll be taking the train and the public transport home. And I'm gonna beat these guys so badly. There is no way he's gonna win. No way. <laughs> and and to make things fair and interesting, because I'll be taking public transport, so we've had set a couple of rules. Uh, number one, we're not allowed to go to Sweden because the country is closed. And it also will be cheating because they have far superior roads. We also uh, are not, I am not allowed to, to take planes because that would also just be, be that would, I would just win instantly. And the third rule is we're not allowed, not allowed to break any laws. And because every good race has a forfeit, we decided to make the loser pay for dinner, and they also have infinite bragging rights forever. Well, Billy, you better bring the money then. <laughs> <laughs> Just right at the transition, it's currently very soon to my train leaves, so we're gonna have to make this video very quick. All right, one, three, go. I will be spending a lot of time on the train, so. I'll show you what I've brought as uh, distractions. So I'm learning Chinese at school, so I was like, you know, maybe do some school flip thing. This is flashcards of 150 Chinese words, which I'm, I'm gonna learn, hopefully. Uh -huh. I got a Game Boy Color, you know what I mean? I also have the uh, Pokemon game. I never really finished this, so I'm just gonna finish this now. And this is a Christmas present that uh, Julian got me, the other dude. This is a Game of Thrones. The Illustrated Edition, apparently, so... I'm gonna try and read. He asked me this once, and, I was, and he's like, oh, did you read it? And I was like, yeah, totally. And, uh, hopefully I'm gonna read this, I don't know. It's gonna be three days, so... My job. We're off. Officially leaving Bergen. And while I was playing the best video game of all time. Okay, so we're approaching Gloss. It's not too bad again. This, this good thing for us is that for the next span 10 hours or so, Jelly's gonna be going the wrong way, so uh, happily we'll be, we'll be getting a good head start on <laughs> But to be fair, I don't think he ever wants to. To, to, be, to be fair, nobody ever really wants to go to Oslo, considering that's Oslo. And, well, politicians and all. I was thinking, because we're stopping, I'm just gonna run out, touch a bit of snow, and just walk back into the train again. Because I've got nothing better to do. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't actually go out because of... Uh, all the train just stops for like 10 seconds, so... It was a good call not to go out. I'm so... Ah, now we have reached Jotunheimen. Close to Gallepigen as well, mm -hmm. Norway's uh, tallest mountain. It's not 
kind of f***ed up because I bought this yogurt and um, I didn't bring a spoon. But <clears throat> don't worry because I'm a genius. I'm a genius. So I think I have a solution. It's actually really simple, right? You just take the lid off. This is the funny part. You just drink. I'm a genius. I am a genius. And then I started reading. But while I was reading, I came up with a bit of poetry myself. And shortly after, I arrived in Oslo. This is the Viglandsbrocka, or uh, Frognabrocka, because Viglandsbrocka is actually not the name of this place. And uh, it was made by Gustav Vigland. It contains a lot of, well, most of his work, artwork, because he was an artist, obviously. And it's one of the most popular tourist attractions in all of Norway. But when you read about this place, you know, it's always about Vigland's work and the beauty of this place. And I do agree, but the sheer magnitude of just nudity in this place, this park contains more nudity than a teenager's phone, all right? Everywhere you look, every statue is nude. I'm not really a big fan of art, but uh, because of all the nudity here, I think that according to my calculations, I like about 50% of this park. Just look, the main attraction is just piles of naked bodies just on top of one another in the penis shape yeah I'm not gonna I'm not gonna see that I'm not gonna see that now just wandering around waiting for the train to come up which I will then hopefully make because there is like an 11 minute window window there which I'm supposed to make but if I don't make that then I'll be really f in all honesty which also means that I will not make the next train and it will cause this huge fiasco domino effect up and just screw my entire race and I cross my fingers that I won't that won't happen I'm still gonna make the whole thing because they have a huge lead like way bigger lead than uh, I, I uh, thought they were gonna have so right now I'm kind of, I mean, I mean, I'm racing against two blithering idiots. So it's not like, it's not like I'm scared or anything, but uh, I don't know. I was, I, I was just thinking that they were going to be a lot slower than they actually were. But I'm off. And meanwhile, I was having a lot of fun in Oslo. The idiots were up to this. Oh, you're probably wondering, where's the clip? Well, it turns out the idiots didn't actually record anything, or barely anything. So, this is what you get. I ordered some lunch, obviously. And I got myself a, uh, a uh, pizza ball. Pizza ball. And, uh, and uh, some wazoo. 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 Hopefully gonna be a good lunch. Brushing my teeth on a train. It sounds very weird, but uh, first time for everything, right? It says here that I, you're not supposed to drink. Or, uh, oh, f***, that's really scary, by the way. And you're not supposed to drink, but, like, is this okay? Like, I don't know. Well, what could possibly go wrong?
And if you're wondering, yes, I actually slept here. And after a quick visit to the restroom, it was time to head towards Trondheim. Just got on the train, headed for Trondheim, and I think this is like where I make or break the race because if everything, if the schedules are correct and there are no delays or anything, which is not going to happen, let's be honest, but, but according to uh, my train ticket, I'm supposed to arrive 10 minutes before the train leaves. That gives me about 5, I mean, the app says I I'll be, I'll be walking five minutes to to the the track, and then I'll have to wait five minutes. But if this train is five minutes more than five minutes delayed, then I'll be screwed most likely. And so I think this is this is really where I can either just let them win, or I can stay in with a shout. It's gonna be fun to see. Just arrived in Buda. Uh, I just finished also my first meal of the day because I only had uh, a yogurt in at like six before I got on the train from Trondheim, from Raros, I mean. Uh, and I, I, I kind of, I was doing a bit of research as to how I'm supposed to buy a ticket for the ferry because I'm taking a ferry from Buda to Moskines, which I think is Lofoten. That's what I'm been told anyway and it only takes cars so I can't I'm, I'm not allowed to go there and I tried I, I also tried, tried calling him up tried calling a lot of numbers up like calling everyone that I thought might be able to help me but uh, nobody answered so so um, I <laughs> I think I'm just gonna have to wait at like 2 a.m. this tonight and just see if anybody will let me hop on. I just cross, cross my fingers, honestly. I'm just gonna go down to the local football pub, try and watch the game, see if anybody there can help me. Uh, I mean, I doubt it, but uh, we'll go with the shot. Wish me luck. Game's finished. It's about 12, so I have about three hours until the fair leaves. I think I'm just gonna go around town and see what's happening. You know, the most fun thing that I've done in Buddha is watch the game. So I was like, I mean, there has to be some cool shit here, right? So I was like, oh. I wanted to try and find the cool shit in Buddha. I might just look at some random stuff and take a few photos or video. Be cool, right? And after a couple hours of me reading, my fairy finally arrived. Or so I thought. Until it actually arrived. And then I was off. To Lufoten. So I'm currently on a bus from in Wooden, which is all the way, if you look on the map, it's all the way um, southwest, which is the tip, of, <laughs> which is the tip 
proof, basically. So I'm gonna take the, this bus ride is six hours, which then I'm gonna arrive in another week, and then switch over to a bus, and then switch again, and then to alt. Anyway, so I think I'm just gonna sleep for the next like five hours because I haven't really slept that much. That's true. Meanwhile, Dom and Dumber were up to this. And while they were very busy, I ran into a bit of a problem. You see, the shoe didn't exactly fit. So, I made the ferry, obviously, and um, it was just me being an idiot because it was completely free, so you couldn't really buy a ticket, so I was basically just stressing around for nothing, essentially. And, uh, here I'm going to Sturzlatz, which is where I'll be switching to a bus and go to Alta. But I'll be staying for it. you, the viewer at home, can understand how really clever I am and my such a genius. Just look at this. Full joker. I have logo. Full joker. I have no spoon. What do I do? Genius. It's genius. Okay, so I, I really needed to pee because I was just here in, in uh, an altar just doing that thing, just eating. And then I was like, ah, oh, where did I pee? I don't, I don't want to get seen. And I was like, nobody's going to see me, what? <laughs> you know, I was going to walk in the woods. Nobody's going to see me. However, I'm a bit more, I'm a bit afraid of my things because I, don't, mm -hmm. I could be bothered actually doing my things. But I think I have a clever and in ingenious solution to that. Give me a sec. So here are my things, but I have a genius, ingenious solution. That is this. You just simply put the cloak of invisibility all over this. Look. Okay. Here you go. Now everything is invisible, right? I think there's an actual rabbit there. Look. It's a rabbit. What? I just saw I just saw something. My bags. It was a rabbit. <laughs> I've never seen a live rabbit in Norway, like ever. And I'm here in Alta and seeing one for the first time. Dude, that's hilarious. Might be. He might have smelled to my um, baguette or something. I don't know. <laughs> so. Just in case you're wondering, I totally filmed the tape like this on purpose. I am a genius. So that you can watch these unused clips. I think we have a problem here. Because, according to my calculations, for me to be able to win this, the, uh, the other two idiots couldn't have made it to Ulta tonight, if that makes sense. So, because they have, actually made it to Alta, which is kind of a bummer because now it's, they kind of have me in a checkmate, like a tight grip around my balls. Because <laughs> because they know exactly what bus I'm taking because there's only one. And that means that they also know exactly when I will be at the North Cape. 
which then also lets them know exactly the time they need to get there to be like one minute ahead of me, just to be some proper, proper assholes. So, because I'm a, I'm a genius, obviously, as you come to learn, is that I kind of realized that they have an advantage right now, so I, I just had to, had to come up with something, and that was to kind of try and use, use their cockiness. If you, know, if you know what I mean. So basically what I've done is I have kind of like indirectly told them that I didn't make it to Ulta. Even though I'm in Ulta, obviously. And I also, I, 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 I just told like this joke that that I don't think the bus existed that was supposed to take to Ulta. Which obviously did. I took, I took the bus. And I also posted on Facebook that I was like, you know, praying for it. I mean, like, to keep the faith that I was going to win this. Because I went, to, I went to sleep, which I actually did, which is not a lie, I went to sleep on the bus. But I was in stool staff, I don't, I don't know what it's called, I think that's what it's called. So basically, I'm just trying to make them think that I didn't make it to Alta. So that they just become cocky and like, wait around. And that's when I like, like, a minute before I get there, I'm just going to reveal to them that I did actually make to Alta today. So, I mean... I mean I mean, who who would waste a victory? Obviously, I mean, who? I mean, they are really stupid, though. So, I mean, that's that's, that's the only thing I got right now because it's just checkmate, obviously. This is the main church in Alta. It's called the North Light Cathedral. Now, you might be wondering, can it actually produce Northern Lights? Well, the answer is no. Can it absorb lightning and fight monsters or produce delicious cotton candy? Nope. Then what does it do? Well, it's a church. And also, it looks very good. It looks dope, actually. This is, this is Christian Fichilop, a quite famous Norwegian physicist. And as you probably saw earlier, this is right next to the Northern Lights Cathedral, which is right here. So it's not far at all. And it's very fitting because as this man solved the Northern Lights problem, or like came up with a theory of, no of Northern Lights. That's actually what, what it says here. It says, Fysikeren som løste nordlysetskottet, which basically means that, which means, or translates to, the physicist, the physicist that solved the Northern Lights riddle, I guess. He's also on the, Nor in, on the Norwegian 200 kroner bill. So that's uh, why a lot of people See, I've seen his face before, but, uh, but don't know his name or what he's done. But my, my, my favorite thing about Alta is that it has public Wi-Fi all over the place. Which is kind of weird. You know, I've been walking around the church, the streets, the park. Perfectly functioning Wi-Fi. I mean, Wi-Fi is even so good that I've been able to watch poor... Uh, I'm conducting research. For two hours straight now, no lag issues. It's pretty impressive. While I was walking in the streets of Volta, I kind of realized something. The time is five, and I see nobody. Is this town dead? Is it deserted? Did, did the monsters come and kill everyone, or did they all 
eat so much cotton candy that they just died. I, I had no clue. Uh, I'm I'm amazed that I I'm walking through the street in the middle of the day, just finding nobody, just by myself. No sounds. Everything's quiet. And I just can't figure out why. Where is everyone? Is there like a cotton candy party that I'm not invited to? Or I I I'm I just don't understand. Like where is everyone? Why is nobody here? I can't comprehend why nobody is here. Like where where the hell is everyone? Where? And then, right before I reached my stop, I finally figured it out. It was 5 a.m., not p.m. Silly me. Shit. Okay, so we made it to Honings Honingsburg, which is basically like 30, 40 minutes away. Let me tell you, it's a lot, very windy here. taking to the North Cape, eating my breakfast. There's chicken salad, which is really a normal breakfast, but I really hope my plan for yesterday worked because it seems like everybody else bought it, so I mean, they're stupid, so they might have bought it. Or because they're so stupid, they might have not bought it because they think think that I was trying they, they they think that I wouldn't try to cheat them and then they so stupid think that I would try to cheat them and then it would be like you know like minus minus equal plus you know what I mean so it's like double stupid because they are double stupid but however, however this goes I will always have the journey as they say just arrived and the second that those doors open I'm gonna be sprinting sprinting until the entrance so dude I can hear my heart my heart is beating so fast right now it's beating like three days all that led up to this and I'm not seeing their car so how does this work Here, 
maybe he's sleeping here. I don't know. No, no, he's, he's definitely not here. I can just see the car in the very back. You saw the car? Yeah, Yeah, okay, so you know when we said that it took to take about 36 hours to get here? Yeah. Well, <clears throat> this is like teeny tiny work around abused. So, technically when he calculated the route, yeah. route time, <clears throat> the Google Maps was just picking very specific ways to go. Yeah. Which went outside of the, which included going outside the cities of, in two places. Yeah. Now, if we didn't follow that, which we didn't, meaning we just went through the, <coughs> the city in and of itself, we saved two hours. So we actually had about 34. Just before me? Yes. We probably could have shown up early if we'd like, driven further yesterday. So when... But that meant we could cut the, the trip yesterday. We didn't have to go that far. <laughs> That's cheating. No, no it's not. No. I mean, it's, you, d you just didn't no. do your homework. Because they cost like a hundred kroner yeah. per muffin. It's 50. It's 50. <laughs> same still, thing, same thing. Still too much. <laughs> yeah. well, you're so, buying, so, uh, we can buy it at Rema Tusen in Honningsvog. So, so, did you actually buy that I was still, still in Storfest? Hey, look. He's writing. Uh, it came a WhatsApp here from Vili. He's writing that, hey, I, I think the connecting bus might not exist. That I was supposed to take. Uh -huh. um, How stupid do you, uh, does he, this guy think we are? Think about as dumb as we think he is? Even dumber, I think. But well, look, know. look what he did. Yeah, he cut off the live position before it was supposed to finish. It's naturally... And send a message, even though he said he'd be in the city by that time. Yeah. So this is the most blatant lie he's <laughs> He's trying to throw us off to make us take a, a longer break, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, there is no way. We're not falling for this. Let's head out earlier tomorrow than we planned, okay? Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll take it. No. no. Oh, okay. <laughs> because I, I, I just realized that the, I had, you guys had like a checkmate. You had like a tight grip on my ball, so I was like, okay. <laughs> okay I need to do something. I need something. I need something to do. Like, I'm a genius, obviously, as you've seen because of the movie. So, so I was like, I tried to play you guys by using your arrogance because you were you you guys were so arrogant all the way up. You're like, oh, time to shopping. I'm taking pictures. <laughs> you like that, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. And and I and I was just getting so pissed, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna use that against you. So I just basically. Faked that I was stuck in Stolstad, like a couple hours away from Alta. When I actually was in Alta, just actually, that's, that's, doing nothing. I, I didn't fall for it. I was just more confused by it because I was because I didn't know where that was. So I just I was confused where you're talking about some place that I thought you'd already pass. Passed, and I didn't even see yeah. that you're trying to trip. Me. Yeah, but <laughs> I just really want to thank uh, Simin from uh, Azerbaijan because. Uh, when I was on the bus on the way here, it was supposed to be a one bus all the way from Salta to uh, the North Cape, but I just changed buses two times, and both of those times she came in really helped me a lot because I was asleep both those times. <laughs> so if it wasn't for her, I would have never made it to, to North Cape, and I was like, thank you. I'm like, thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, okay. How much do you think this guy costs? Uh, you can't look. 49. Actually, 89. Okay. Most of the things here just cost 115, I've noticed. Yeah, <laughs> just 115, yeah. If I had to buy anything, I guess it's this, it's 49. What are you doing? It's so fun. What did you just say, Birta? I said this is the next trip. Cape to Cape. Cape town, to Cape. South Africa. From North Cape to... North Cape to South, uh, South Cape. It's actually called Cape Town. Cape Town, yeah. Yeah. Perfect. So, I can't believe your outfit for the North Cape. Dude, dude, this is not the Bahamas, okay? <laughs> and here we have Dumb and Dumber. How you guys doing? It's an 
ancient Sami <laughs> site. <laughs> Look at the, they even still have the tent. I'm amazed that it still holds up today. This is a special place. Now guys, whatever. You want water. You want to drink water. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs>